So then we're gonna be trying different viral TikToks of people trying to go to different fast food restaurants and seeing if they can get any healthy options. These are gonna be low calorie, high protein meals coming from four different fast food restaurants that I'm gonna be trying to recreate in this video to see if they're worth your time. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. And let's get into the first one. For meal number one or breakfast today, we're gonna to be going to Chick-fil-A. So let's check out the video of what I have to recreate. Okay guys, we are back to my roots with another macro-friendly, healthy Chick-fil-A order. This is a breakfast order this time, and it is 42 grams of protein and less than 350 calories, and you are not ready for this. But basically, it's literally a massive protein bowl from Chick-fil-A. I like to add a little salt and pepper to the top, and then literally cut it all up into little pieces. Okay, so this seems like a pretty good option, and it does seem like it's pretty cost-effective as well. Now, if I were to make this meal like even lower calorie, I would probably get a grilled chicken filet instead of the spicy one. But for this video, I have to copy exactly what they put. So I'm about to go place an order and then let's give it a try. So I'm in the Chick-fil-A app right now on my phone. I'm gonna show you the point of view on the screen right here. So first thing she said to do is go to the egg white sandwich and we're gonna remove the bun. So let me go ahead and do that. And then she's doing double egg whites again. I would probably do like three times the amount of egg whites, but that's fine. Then we're gonna go back to the main menu, scroll down to the protein options, and then I'm gonna choose just a spicy filet. It doesn't say to add any sauces like that, but um, I would probably add like buffalo sauce to it since it's only like 25 calories. But again, we're copying everything the video says. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my order and then I need to go pick it up. I just got the order in front of me. It smells just as good as every other Chick-fil-A would, but let's give it a try. Okay, so in this container, it looks like we have the grilled chicken, the two egg whites, and then the cheese. And then we have the little spicy um, piece of chicken. And just as the video said, we're gonna put it right in here. Um, she also added salt and pepper. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. That's like the one thing I'm doing differently if you wanna sue me, whatever. But it already has plenty of salt in it already. So we're just gonna add it to the container and then we're just gonna chop it up and see how it tastes. This is what it looks like all chopped up. It does look pretty similar to the video, of course. Um, again, I would have liked to see another egg white in here just to add a little bit more volume. And there's only like 40 calories, got plenty of protein in it. Um, this is still a pretty big bowl though, and I'm excited to give it a try. So let's get a little bit of everything in the one bite. Let's get some of the grilled chicken, some of the egg white, a little bit of the American cheese, and some of the spicy filet. And then let's see if it tastes any good. It's been such a long time since I had Chick-fil-A. I forgot how, how tender and juicy their meat is, especially the grilled chicken. Very, very juicy, just very overall, really, really tasty. And the egg whites add a nice fluffiness to it. And the American cheese, even though it's only one slice, is surprisingly really, really prominent. It mixes together all very well for a very nice, tasty meal. So overall, this is, this is pretty solid. What you probably care most about is the macros, so I'm gonna read it off right now. Without adding the spice of your life, this would be 190 calories, 28 grams of protein, 8 grams of fat with 2 grams of carbs. Then the spicy filet by itself would be 130 calories, 14 grams of protein with 8 grams of fat. And my total calories for this meal to 320 calories, 42 grams of protein, which is 8 calories more than what the video said. And it also has 8 grams of carbs with 14 grams of fat. So overall, this is a pretty solid breakfast. Um, it's it's pretty voluminous. Again, I would have added it, probably just another egg white to it, make it even more voluminous. But if you're on the go, this is definitely a better option. Or if you're just going to go Chick-fil-A anyways and you don't really know what to order, this is definitely a good option. It's definitely a hack. You know, you don't really see it advertised that much. But um, I would probably order this again. And it's very flavorful, very tasty. I still feel pretty satisfied. I feel like I'm eating out. The only thing this meal is missing is just a little bit of carbs. But overall, the protein is very high. And it's definitely worth it. If I had to give this meal an overall rating, I would give it a 7.2 out of 10. For lunch today, the next fast food hack is kind of cheating because it's coming from me. So I'm not about to go to work at Subway and I'm going to tell you the meal that I get every single day when I work there. What a lot of people don't know when they're ordering their sandwiches, all I have to do is ask the employee if they could take some of the fluffy part out of the inside of the bread. So you still keep the whole shell of the bread and it cuts about half the calories if they take like 
enough of the white part out of it but basically just get a foot long piece of white bread um take as much of the white middle part out as you can as possible leaving just the shell but you still get that same flavor and the same taste of the bread it's just not as much of it usually i get the deluxe chicken which would just be one and a half times portions but i know today we're out of grilled chicken so i would just get one and a half turkey or you can even get double turkey but i know that's pretty expensive you can get as many veggies as you want on it if you were to get all the veggies it would be about 30 to 40 calories and then for sauces, you can either drench it in vinegar or any of the brown mustard or the yellow mustard would be basically zero calories. Or if you want something a little bit sweeter, the sweet onion sauce is only about 60 calories for a whole foot long. Then we are going to skip the cheese, but in reality, if you put cheese on your sandwich, you don't really taste it that much. It's just coming from experience. Now, of course, if you want to do that um, for a foot long sandwich, cheese would be about 100 to 150 calories, depending on what you order. All right, so the sandwich I made today is a double turkey foot long with the bread obviously gutted out as I said earlier. This is 490 calories and 54 grams of protein with only 10 grams of fat. And I believe somewhere around like 40 grams of carbs. So the fact you can have an entire foot long sandwich, this is like really, really filling. There's a ton of volume in here because I stuffed it with veggies. And you know, just to have like a foot long for 490 calories, not even 500 calories, with that much protein in it is like truly insane. So if you are definitely like on a calorie deficit or anything like that, just ask them to gut the bread. Now, of course, if you wanted to increase the calories just a little bit, you can put like sweet onion sauce on it. Maybe if you wanted to put some light cheese sprinkled on it, you could definitely do that too. But this is a really good sandwich. It's really massive, so I'm going to enjoy all of it. Mm. It's so good. And the fact that I get it for free helps a lot too. And for 490 calories with almost 55 grams of protein, you literally cannot beat this anywhere else. I just got off of work for today, so the third meal is gonna be a quick little snack. It's gonna be from Taco Bell, so let's see what the video is. This order is a deal if you're at Taco Bell. Can I please get a soft taco with chicken? Extra chicken on there, tomatoes and black beans, that's it. This whole order has under 300 calories, 30 grams of protein. Look at how big this little baby taco is. Honestly, that does look pretty good. And if a taco can be 30 grams of protein for just like one singular taco, that is pretty good. But let's go inside and give it a try. I have the taco in front of me. I got it exactly like the video said to order as you saw earlier. And honestly, it's it's pretty tiny. Um, holding it in my hand is like really not that big. So I think whatever the lady had in the video, I don't know what happened, but that was completely different. Now, of course, I got a uh, Diet Baja Blast on the side, but that's not like related to this. But either way, this is like the greatest soda of all time and it's like five calories for medium. But let's give this a try. It was only 260 calories, not 300 like the video said, which also leads me to believe that it's not 30 grams of protein. So this is what the taco looks like. Um, honestly, not at all what the video showed, but I'm still gonna go open mine into this and let's see if it tastes any good. So they actually did put a lot of chicken in here. And I mean, it's just, it's a basic taco with like lettuce, tomato, onion, black beans in here. The, the black beans do add a nice contrast, but it's just a typical taco. I mean, for 260 calories, this isn't bad. You got two of these, um, that could be like a pretty solid meal, but it probably won't fill you up that much. However, this is still pretty solid. A tortilla is pretty fresh as well. So this isn't a bad hack. It's not great either for five, for basically five dollars for one taco it's definitely not worth it i don't have the exact uh, nutrition information for this because the taco bell app does an update when you do customizations but like the app said 260 calories i'm gonna guess somewhere around like 22 23 grams of protein but again overall not worth it as you can see the sun has now set meaning it's dinner time so let's see what our final meal for today is i'm gonna go to burger king for this one this is coming from jay nutrition um he's a really good guy on youtube he has tons of different like low calorie fast food options and overall just like ways to help you lose weight definitely when i first started losing weight his videos really helped me out a lot anyways let's see what to order from burger king the easiest 36 grams of protein is impossible not to finish the best part about this meal is it was less than nine dollars for the entire thing compared to the way the prices are going up everywhere this beats the average unfortunately so my favorite meal for bk is simply two double cheeseburgers with lettuce onion and tomato the craziest part is they charge extra for the veggies but 
whatever. And then I add on a honey mustard packet. All I'm gonna do is just stack it up and then sauce it up. So this actually looks like a really solid option. I cannot remember the last time I had Burger King, which is the main reason why I wanna go there. And hopefully it's gonna taste really good. So let's go give it a try. All right, can I get two double cheeseburgers with lettuce, tomato, onion? And then can I have no sauce on the sandwiches, but I get honey mustard on the side? I will be eight, 46, four up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got the goods. Let's go home and give it a try. So here are the two double cheeseburgers. Honestly, they're very tiny, not even the size of my palm, but I'm still gonna be optimistic about this. Of course, some napkins. And then we got the honey mustard. Now in the video, it, um, he only said to use half of the honey mustard sauce and that's for the calories that he put into the description. So that's how I'm gonna track it. So I'm only gonna use half of this. I'm gonna have to just eyeball it and hope for the best. But let's, let's go ahead and assemble this. Basically, he said to just take off both of the buns. So we're not gonna need that. And then we're just gonna put them together. So we're left with just the meat and the lettuce and everything. So this is what the monstrosity looks like. Um, very, very messy. My fingers are covered in grease just by holding it. And of course, there's plenty of lettuce that is falling out of it. However, I'm very excited to give this a try. So without any further ado. Oh, this is so nostalgic. So I haven't had Burger King in such a long time. When I was growing up, we, there used to be the um, two Whopper meals for $6. Back before inflation really like took a hit. And this just takes me back to that. I mean, the beef tastes the same, all of this. It, it's just a normal burger, just without the bread. Very, very good. There's actually like a lot of meat in here. And the honey mustard, the little bit that I use does actually add a lot of flavor to this. Um, I mean, overall, it, it's good. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. I'm gonna absolutely devour this and then I'll read off the macros at the end. After eating that meal, I'm gonna have to give it like a nine and a half out of 10. I mean, it was really, really, really good. It just wasn't that big. I tried to take very tiny bites to eat it as slowly as possible, but in the end, it, there just wasn't much food. But regardless, I'm gonna read off the macros. I did write it down just so I get the exact numbers. It's gonna be 485 calories for the whole thing, 36 grams of protein. So just a little bit lower in the protein compared to some of the other options today. Editing Luca here. I have no idea what I was on when I said that, but the correct macros are on the screen right now. And with that meal being done, I'm finished eating for the day. So if you were to follow this, I guess you would call it meal plan exactly the way I did it today, you'd be looking at 1,555 calories, 167.5 grams of fat, 107 grams of carbs, and exactly 150 grams of protein. Now, if you're just trying to lose weight, this is really, really solid. I mean, you get plenty of fat, so you're not gonna feel sluggish as much. And 150 grams of protein is enough for the average person. For me personally, I try to go for 170 grams of protein because that's how much I weigh and I calculate it based off of that. But again, for the average person, it's really, really good. And if you're just trying to lose weight, um, by eating this exact same thing every single day, you would probably lose about two pounds per week. So that's pretty solid. Especially if you're like on the heavier side, you're gonna lose more uh, weight obviously than if you're somebody who was pretty skinny and you was trying to eat this way. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Comment the word Burger King if you made it this far in the video so I know if you actually did or not. And I'll see you whenever I see you again. Goodbye.